Hey guys, so today I'm going to be replacing the DC power jack on the Dell laptop. It's a Dell Latitude. Um, the model number on this particular one is P15G and uh, what you need to do is start unscrewing the screws at the very bottom and uh, you don't really need to remove the keyboard but um, the main idea is to remove all the panel screws so you can remove the back panel uh, of course before removing the screws I remove the battery and the CD player from the side you know that's uh, easily removable and once we remove the screws uh, we can go ahead and lift uh, the case and the cable should be exposed right there so let's go ahead and remove all the screws and then I'll show you guys how we can get to the jack Now we're going to remove the hard drive and once I remove the screws the hard drive can just pull out put that on the side so you don't damage it Now to remove the cover all you have to do is just start pulling up the cover and then it comes off very easy So now I'm going to show you guys where the power is located so if you look at the back side if you lift it up right here that is the power supply of course where you plug in your DC power jack and uh, you can see there's a long wire coming across from here and this is the actual one that you have to remove to get the entire power supply out so I ordered a replacement and you can see the replacement that I order is kind of like short so apparently it was the wrong part number so make sure when you're ordering it you may want to look at what you have inside um, and then order the replacement part but there's a way uh, for you guys to fix your existing one so I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, your existing power supply so for you to remove it uh, there is a small pin that holds the actual power supply which is hold up by a screw so you just open up the screw and take that clip out uh, not really a pin it's more like a clip and uh, there you go I just removed that uh, clip and then um, you can see the power or you just have to wiggle it and try to get it out you know you can use a screwdriver and try to pry it out it's just uh, snug in, in there so it should be fairly easy for you guys to just uh, pull it out so let's see if I can get it out all right there you go and uh, you just trace it the wire you know start pulling it out Sometimes you just have to get it under that existing wire that I had and I'm just going to remove it right now and uh, there's a connector and all you have to do is just uh, pull up the connector to remove the whole thing. So in my case I'm not going to remove the connector since I'm not replacing it uh, as I got the wrong part but I'll show you guys how I fixed my existing one. You may need, you may need a very sharp uh, needle tool. So there are different pins as you can see inside right here and what happens sometimes these pins get pushed in so if your center one is not loose most likely these pins are kind of inside so you, what you can do is take a very sharp object and kind of try to pry these pins out so you can hold it from side and kind of try to bring it up you know and uh, on mine I have like six pins but you can stick it in and pull them out outside so once you start pulling them outside it'll give you enough grip all around it and if your center one is good then most likely your power cable is good it's just the pins kind of went inside so it's an easy fix like that you can't really reach it from here um, in my case I took this out you know this was too short so I took this out and um, pulled the pins out so now I'm putting this back the way you put this back is pretty much the same you know I just uh, put everything back right here and then the wire goes in so you don't really have to take out the keyboard and uh, I'm all done from here so I'm gonna put everything back to normal
and it's just a matter of putting the case back and put the screws back the way you took it out. So I already have my screws laid out the way I took it out. And I'm just going to put everything back and hopefully that should fix my problem. So I put everything back to normal and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the screws back on. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and test my plug. Everything is back to normal. So... You can already see. I'm going to go ahead and move the cable and you'll see it'll keep charging so it does not disconnect. Power it on. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and move the power just to show you guys it's not disconnecting or it's not powering off or anything. It moves a little bit which is fine but it does not disconnect or kill the power and that's what you're looking for so it this fixed my issue hopefully it helps you guys uh, fix yours so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you